the Institute recently conducted front, side, and rear tests of the 2008 Smart for Two. This is the smallest car we've ever tested, but the results were pretty impressive. The Smart earned good ratings for frontal crash protection and for side impact protection, and the seats and head restraints earned acceptable ratings for rear crash protection. A key aspect of protecting occupants in frontal crashes is the crush of the front end. But you can see that the Smart for Two doesn't have much front end, and it doesn't crush much in our crash test. As a result, the vehicle rebounds violently off of our barrier, and the restraint system, the seat belts and the airbags, have to do more of the work of protecting the occupants. Although the dummy's head did strike the steering wheel hard through the airbag, overall, we think the Smart does a good job of protecting its occupants in this kind of crash. Our side impact test replicates what happens when a larger SUV or pickup strikes a car in the side at a little over 30 miles an hour. You can see that the top of the barrier lines up with the occupant's heads. This is a very difficult test to do well in, but the Smart did a good job. Although the door latch did fail, this stiff structure around the occupant compartment did a good job of resisting the intrusion of the barrier, and the side airbags did a good job of keeping the injury measures on the dummy low. If you're thinking about buying a car as small and lightweight as the Smart for Two, it's even more important that it offer good crash protection and that it have the latest safety features. Many key features are standard equipment on the Smart for Two, including side airbags to protect the head and the chest, and also it comes with electronic stability control to help keep you out of crashes in the first place. Many people are looking at smaller, lighter cars because they want to save fuel. But there are other larger cars that get the same or perhaps even better fuel economy than the Smart. For example, the Toyota Prius. And because it's larger and heavier, we expect it to protect its occupants better in real world crashes. When it comes to safety, small, lightweight vehicles aren't the best choices. You wouldn't put a featherweight boxer into the ring with a heavyweight. And out on the road, small, lightweight vehicles don't protect their occupants as well as larger and heavier ones.